Do you have gallbladder symptoms? Do you know what the symptoms of a gallbladder problem are? Do you know what your gallbladder is and what it does for you? Do you know about the negative consequences of having your gallbladder removed? Well, let's talk about that. Stay tuned. I'm Dr. David Dolman for AskTheHolisticDoctor.com. Gallbladder symptoms can be described with one word, pain, and it can be bad. You may also experience some nausea or queasiness, maybe some vomiting, or some gas that you really never had before. The pain can be so bad that it takes your breath away, and sometimes it can radiate to your right shoulder blade. A typical gallbladder attack can last between one to four hours. The gallbladder sits right, behind the, uh, right below the right rib cage and is actually behind your liver. It's a small muscular sac that stores bile, which is an enzyme produced in your liver that helps you digest fats. When your body senses fat in your food, the gallbladder contracts and squeezes the bile into the food. Now, a number of problems can arise concerning the gallbladder. It can become infected, gallstones may form and block the bile from exiting, or it can become lazy and slow its muscular contractions. Infection might be treated with antibiotics, but may require surgery to remove it. Gallstones, depending on their size or if you've suffered a gallbladder attack and its acute pain, may also require surgery. A gallbladder without sufficient muscular contractions may just be a symptom of a person who has an unhealthy, inefficient, or imbalanced gastrointestinal system. Many times this happens in patients who have been diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome, also known as IBS. If you have IBS or gastrointestinal symptoms that your doctor can't explain, many times he or she will remove your gallbladder for no reason because even though you don't have any of the problems I just mentioned, they're lost as, as, what is causing, as to what is causing the symptoms that you're complaining about. It's a guess on their part. Don't let them take your gallbladder if you can avoid it. Now, needless to say, if it's infected or you have stones, that may be unavoidable. Now, if you lose your gallbladder, you still have a solution for your symptoms, and especially if it's IBS. Though you might experience some relief after surgery, many don't, or some will for a period of time, and then all the symptoms come back with a vengeance. The reason why they come back is because you don't have the ability to digest your fats as efficiently as you did before. The solution is not to avoid fats because they're necessary for human health, and you don't need to even cut back on them because they're necessary for human health. Eat lots of good fats like olive oil, the healthy fats found in fish and nuts, but also take a specific digestive enzyme that I describe in my free report about irritable bowel syndrome. Without help digesting the fats in your diet, you may experience gas, bloating, pain, and even diarrhea. There can be other symptoms also. For more information about this enzyme and my treatment protocol for irritable bowel syndrome, please visit www.drdolman.com. Don't suffer from the discomfort of an unhealthy gallbladder, the consequences of having lost yours, or irritable bowel syndrome. There are healthy alternatives. I'm Dr. David Dahlman for AskTheHolisticDoctor.com. To view more videos about holistic approaches to other chronic health conditions and read my opinionated blog about many health topics in the news, please visit AskTheHolisticDoctor.com.